All right, three wins. Need to get at least two more. Okay. Garrosh versus Roll. For Doomhammer. Definitely keep the war axe. Get rid of everything else. Oh, okay. <laughs> hate those guys. I should honestly fiery war axe to get rid of it. One, it hides my C'Thun for another turn. And two, it doesn't let him grow any bigger. Because he gets... Yeah. Let's do it. I think that's the best choice. Okay. That's not super helpful for him right now. So, Beckoner. Are you my master? And hold on to the axe. <clears throat> Come on. He may have a lightning bolt or whatever to get rid of it. Feral spirit, oh boy. Okay, well at least I can get rid of him. Ah, uh, Cthulhu too early. So with the War Axe, I can get rid of one, and Disciple and this, I can get rid of the other. So, that works for me. The next turn I can Battle Rage if I need to. Okay, look at that. Battle Rage. Nice. And armor up. And we'll clear the board. This way. Don't want to leave those totems up. Come on, burn a lightning storm or something on these guys. What to do? I do like this where it's showing how much time each player has spent. Okay, Azure Drake's good. Um, huh. This is tough. Do I go ahead and use the blood to Icker and then trade? What now? I think so. And then Cthulhu's, uh, Cthulhu's chosen. I have a 2-2 two, two, and a 4-2. Cthulhu! This way. Cthulhu is my shield. Yeah, I think that works. Lightning Storm doesn't get rid of both of them. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Okay, I don't have a great turn six play. Well, maybe I do. I could execute that. Just to get it out of the way. Hmm. And I think I want to keep the Divine Shield, so I'm not going to Ravage and Ghoul. So let's do this. This. Execute. Armor. Job done. Turn seven obsidian. Turn eight. Hopefully rag. Assuming there's no big threats. I would like to get Cthulhu a little bigger, but I may not be there able to. He probably has a hex. I definitely wish I had a weapon now. I think I gotta take out the healing totem. I wonder. And then put down the obsidian. I obey. And let's put it in here. So the one one goes in the middle. I don't perfectly know how all the placement stuff works against all the different classes. But I think in general, having either the lowest or the biggest in the middle is better than random a random mess. <laughs> okay. Ah, pulls out the hex. Which means he doesn't have a hex. Oh, and he's going to clear the board. He's down one hex. Okay. Gorehow to get rid of the 3-6. Yeah. I don't want to put Rag out right now with 6 damage on the board. Great time for Gorhal to come around. <clears throat> that belongs in a museum. Oh no, he does have Harrison Jones. <laughs> well played. Oh no. All right. I think I can deal with this. Ravaging, slam, and execute. Hmm. Or, I don't want to take the seven damage. Yeah, so I gotta execute it. Armor up. Job's done. That was pretty good. So we're coming up to Cthulhu turn, but I don't know if I want to do it with so many cards in his hand. Might be better to go ahead and get Rag out there and see if he'll hex it. Rag, if, a, if another Beckoner speech. would show up, that'd be perfect. Oh, thunder, just stupid Thunder Bluff. 
Trying Cthulhu to clear some of the stuff off the board. Yeah, then maybe. Do I go ahead and trade what the three three? Now? I don't think so. <sighs> Cthulhu has twelve. He has twelve. Twelve health. I think we gotta do it. Get some of this stuff off the board. My dream ends. Your Perfect. I will take it. Alright, hex that, then I can put out rag. Yep. Wow. So much mana tied. So, do I put out Rag or do I. I don't think so. I think I gotta get rid of these dumb totems. I can get rid of one. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know that I... Well... I wonder. He might trade a bunch of stuff into Rag. Doomcaller would put uh, Cthune back in my deck. Right? Yeah. No, it wouldn't, because it was hexed. What I think that now? doesn't count. Yeah, I think I gotta get rid of some of this stuff here. Uh, armor up first. Yeah. I don't think it counts. Oh, stupid spirit claws. We hunger for vengeance. What? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is bad. Ghoul doesn't do a ton. Oh no. This is bad. Bad, bad news. I think I have to rag and just hope for the best. I think I have to. <laughs> that was one of the worst. That's probably the worst that it could have hit. <laughs> oh no. 9, 10, 12, 15. If he has four damage somewhere, then I'm done. I wonder. Otherwise, he needs to clear off Rag. Really. Should. No! Oh, 
I guess not. I wasn't really thinking of Flame Tongue, but um, it didn't really matter anyway. I probably misplayed or just, well, I probably misplayed there. I thought for sure I needed Cthune to clear off some of that stuff. What would have helped me? My um, Protect the King would have helped me. Shield block. Yeah. Alright. Let's try not to lose. Fiery War Axe, Slam, and Ghoul. Garrosh versus Magni! For Kazmodan! Victory or death! Uh, slam is a real tough one. I think I want to save it for later when I'm going to try and execute something. But it could also be the difference between me being able to kill something with the war axe and not. Man. <sighs> Let's keep it. Could be a big mistake. Okay. I did get a, a good turn three play. <laughs> Greetings. Alright, in theory this guy also has three wins and two losses. Alright, let's war axe. <laughs> uh. Astonishing. All right. I don't. Hmm. I don't have a good turn four play. Now he can't get rid of the elder with the war axe. What now? So I could do that, or I could go ahead and armor up now and get another card. I think I should save the card for later. Let's reveal what we're doing here. Do you hear its call? Listen closely. Now, do you have a way to get rid of it? Some sort of ping or a charge? Something like that. Can I keep it around an extra turn? He might be Cthune Warrior too. Maybe. Th no, no, no. <laughs> He's gonna slam it. That's exactly why I kept slam was for moments like this. Okay. So definitely shield block. But let's look at all of our stuff here. Look at this, and then we'll shield block. Poor Hal. Okay, a little early. Give me something I can slam. Okay. Iron Forge, okay. What 
the summon two one one spiders. Um. All right, then I'm gonna save the ghoul for that. Or no, I can use the ghoul now to get rid of it. Yeah, let's do that. Then we'll armor up. Another portal. I don't know if the portals are the best here. I mean, maybe they are. Both players have plus two spell damage. Well, guess what? I have a slam. So... Problem is, I don't have anything that costs four mana. But I could go ahead and put up Cut out Bran. What now? Yeah. Let's assume he doesn't have a great way to get rid of Bran. He might. So I'm not going to be able to draw a card. That's fine. Put out Bran. He's going to assume I have a big battle cry here, which I really don't. Okay. Now he has a lot of armor built up now. So that could have been good. It could have gotten him to get rid of a uh, shield slam. So crazed and armor up. He definitely has cards on me. Score how? <laughs> oh man. Cthulhu's only an 8 8 now. Okay, there we go. Math still doesn't work out great. So he has six attack. This guy has nine. Nine health. So he needs some other thing to get rid of it. Yeah, I think that's what we got to do. Get our Cthune up to ten. What now? A symphony of terror begins. Huh. He's got a lot of cards. Question is, what can you do about this? I mean, something, yeah, something like if he's got an execute, that gets rid of it. Okay. Okay. Shield bearer. Take down the 3 3. Put up another fiery war axe. Of course, if I need Gorehound next turn, that'll be a waste of the fiery war axe. But I think that's okay. We're about even on cards now. Caffeine shelters us! Uh, 
Okay, use your gore hell to take that out. Maybe. The menagerie is for guests Ooh. only. He's got the curator. And he's got two of the different kinds of cards. Okay. This would be a good time for Gore Howl, unfortunately. Uh, what happens if I leave him up for a turn? I don't know. It does protect his other cards, no. obviously. But... Can't buff it. Is it a special? It's a mech. He could have something that buffs mechs. Yeah, I don't know that I want to use Gorhal right this turn. Let's Azure. Becker. I must choose. Beckoner armor. I think that's fine. He still doesn't know I have Gorhal. He probably thinks that's Cthune or something like that. He has a lot of cards. That's the only problem. Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. But not the end of the world. The question is, what else are you going to play? So many choices. I gotta move! Okay. Still don't want to use Gorhal here. Because I'm going to use this. So. What now? Oh. The thunes chosen. Well met. And armor smith. And armor. Job's done. Oh, got Gorhal. He has a lot of cards. That's really what Gorhal is allowing him to do is save cards. I guess he still has the coin. I bring life. Alex Straza. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got execute. Oh man. <sighs> what now? Okay. Ghoul takes off the Divine Shield. Then I can execute this and take this out. I obey. Yes. Ghoul. Execute. And I still am holding on to Gorham. <laughs> Job done. But I'm not dead. I have the board. He has a ton of cards. He can keep using Gorhal, which is a problem. Big problem. What little does he know, I'm holding on to one too. So put out a big card that Maybe I can take out. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. Clear the board. I know who you are. 
Okay, I'm fine with this. Let's see. He's used two Ravaging Ghouls. He'll need like a Whirlwind or something to take care of these guys. Hey, guess what? I got Gore Hell too. But of course, you're probably gonna kill it with uh, what's his face. Harrison Jones. Maybe I really need some card draw. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll just clear everything off. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I've got to get an execute or else I'm dead. Cthune. That might do it. Do I risk taking down the 3-3 three, three, to give it a higher chance. He's got 14. I mean, I'm dead either way, so I think I have to do this. Take the two three. Nope. Well played. Well played. <laughs> but Rag's only a 50. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> That's not a guarantee. Alright. Well, didn't make it to five wins. So I would say that I agree with um, this website that I was looking I think it's. Is it Hearthpone that I was looking at? Let me see here. No, hearthstone.gamepedia is what I was looking at. Um, unless you're just wanting to do this for fun and you can spend a thousand gold or ten dollars on fun, then this is probably not a great idea because getting to five, you got you to at least get to five to break even. So I think I got four packs, which is about 400 gold, and I've got, and I'll get some gold too. I did get the, you know, you are accomplishing your quests also. So technically, I get 50 from my quest, and I get 10 for winning three games. Um, other than that, it's not great. Okay, four packs, so 400, plus 130 is 530, plus dust, I don't know how much that's worth. Let's say it's worth 30. So, 560, and I spend 1,000. So not a, not a good return. And especially if you ha already have a lot of uh, Whispers of the Old God cards, then this might not be worth it to you. But I, do, I, if I do get duplicates, I can turn them into dust. Let's see what we get here. Okay, got an epic and a golden. 
cool. Okay. Golden are worth more. So I don't really care too much about showing golden cards to my opponents. So I could probably get rid of these. Uh, I know I have at least one of these. I think I have at least one of these. At least one of these. Primal Fusion I might not have yet. And one more. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure about these, but I already got... There's two right there, so... Pretty good chance that I already have those. Okay, so now we'll go into my collection and see what I can... Uh, disenchant, so I'm going to get an extra 145. So, I don't know what the conversion is that people are using, but let's say that's another 30. So, it's like 590 gold out of 1,000 gold. So, yep. So, it'd be nice if, let's see, show only golden cards. I want to, hmm. All right. I want to get rid of the golden cards. If they're duplicates. Do I already have two Sun Furies? Not sure. No, that's the only one I have, apparently. So, no. Morgan. Ugh. That's the only one I have? Okay. <sighs> Silk Lord Swarmer, I don't think I would have dupes of those. Eater of Secrets and Faceless Shambler. I'm going to assume since they're rare and epic. Polluted Hoarder, maybe? I don't think so. Why am I here? Not what I want. Eater of Secrets. Yeah, it's the only one I have. Looted Hoarder. I already have two, so disenchant this guy. Boom. Alright, I'm gonna worry about that later. And then I'll disenchant after I'm sure I've gotten rid of other stuff. So, in general, I would say, unless you're just, uh, unless you really have a good deck that you want to bring in, um, like if you're really good at constructed, then go ahead and give it a try. Or if you just want to have fun and give it a shot, like I did, that's my like one shot. I probably won't try this again, um, unless I just come up with a really great deck that I think could get me five wins. Uh, so that's it for me. Thanks for watching.